Hey guys, it's Shay. Welcome back to my channel. So before we even get started on what this video will be today, I'd like to tell you guys if you're not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button down below. Turn your notification bell on if you want like, to see when I post new uploads. You guys know my videos, nursing, beauty, lifestyle, and today I'm actually coming to you guys with a beauty video. So what we're going to be doing today is actually there is a new foundation out on the market and I want to do a wear test for you guys. So the new foundation I'm going to be talking about today is the lovely Maybelline Dream Urban Cover. And the good thing about this foundation is it has SPF in it and it's SPF 50. So um, if some of you guys don't know, my big obsession this summer has just been trying to keep my face intact between making sure it's moisturized making sure it has spf and everything like that so if you guys are interested we're going to go ahead and talk about the specifics of this foundation you can watch me apply it and then i will do a wear test for you guys and come back at the end of the day and let you know how it wears so if you are interested stay tuned we're going to jump right into it all right y'all first things first i know this is a makeup look i know i'm going to be finishing up some makeup for you guys but these lips right now is too dry so I got to put my Laneige on, like, I was talking in the intro, and I was like, cotton mouth. Um, it's summer, so I don't know why my lips get like this. But, anywho, like I told you guys, we're going to wear and try and do a wear test on the Maybelline Urban Cover Foundation. So let me grab my phone, and we're going to talk about some of the claims before I get started. Okay, guys, so it is the Dream Urban Cover Flawless Coverage Foundation Makeup. <laughs> uh SPF 50 that's a long long um, title <laughs> um, so what it's telling us is that the dream urban cover is a flawless coverage protective makeup this lightweight foundation has broad spectrum SPF 50 and is enriched with antioxidants to protect us against pollution so um, it just kind of talks about the benefits and it says it's Maybelline's first protective foundation makeup specifically formulated to shield the skin from harmful environment aggressors. This lightweight foundation has broad spectrum SPF 50 and is enriched with antioxidants to protect against pollution. It not only leaves the skin with a natural looking finish is what they're claiming, but it protects the skin all day. Available in 16 shades, and we'll talk about that. Um, Dermalog Derm approved, period. So, um, basically, it's just telling us to apply this with a fingertip, a sponge, or a brush. And today, what you guys will see me do is I'm gonna do one side with the blender, one side with the brush, with the brush, and then we'll see how um, I kind of feel about both of them. So. Right off the bat with this foundation, I can easily tell y'all that I'm excited about it because um, it's in a tube. And I like tubes because they're easy to travel, they're less messy, my glass won't break, things like that. So tubes are kind of like the new packaging way to go. Um, shade range. 16 shades Maybelline. Maybelline is usually very good with being inclusive, so it kind of shocked me when I heard it was 16 shades. But I knew, know this is a new foundation for them. It's their first protective foundation. It also contains SPF 50. When you're playing with SPF, you have to be careful with the shades. I do understand that. So I'll, what my hope is, is that they're trying to see how good this foundation will wear with people. And then if it's good, hopefully they will up the shades. Of course, you guys know Maybelline's Fit Me collection has tons of shades. Super Stay, tons of shades. So, um, usually in Super Stay or um, Fit Me, I wear 355 Coconut. Today, I'm going to be wearing 348 Cafe All Lats. Lates, I don't know if I'm saying it right. So, um, this shade just was between Cappuccino and the other darker shade, and it just seemed like the one that would fit me. Um, so, Looking at it against the skin, it looks pretty good. I didn't swatch. It's drugstore. I actually purchased mine from Rite Aid for $11.99. They did have all 16 shades when I went there. And I know you can pick this up from Walmart too, which I think the price point at Walmart is either $9.99 or $10.99. I'm not certain. So, um, right off the bat, um, I'll open it up. And it actually has the squeezy tube end. I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, the squeezy tube end, which is actually pretty interesting. So, it's actually a little 
um, sanitizing the nurse in me because you can just squeeze it on your face and um, go from there. Of course, if you're big on that, hypoallergenic, all that other stuff, clean the tip before you squeeze it, but otherwise it's good. So we're going to stop talking and we're going to start applying. <laughs> Alright, so for you guys today, I'm trying to do my classic routine that I do with every foundation. So, um, the big thing I will kind of want to talk about is SPFs and foundation because I, you guys know for the summer, my favorite one is the L'Oreal um, Infallible Full Wear. And by the way, I'm going in with my e.l.f. Portless Petty Primer. You guys already know, this is Bay. So, that has been a fave of mine for the summer because of SPF and the way it lasts. I don't know, ooh, I put way too much primer on my forehead. I don't know if this will beat it. I don't know. Um, I have watched only one review because after I watched the one review, I did decide that I actually wanted to make this one of my first foundation wear test review videos. Um, I haven't done one of these on my channel yet, mainly because there hasn't been a lot of new foundations came out that have really blown me out of the water or that I really wanted to test. I mean, you guys already know um Juvia's place and all that stuff you guys can watch my video it's on my channel in reference to that foundation so after that kind of occurred I already felt like I found the foundations for me that actually work so you guys know for like high end going out weddings parties things like that I'm a Fenty girl um every day I'm a L'Oreal infallible um occasionally I'll pull I have tons of foundations like I think somebody did request I to do a foundation collection but of course, I pull out things depending on what the occasion is and where I'm going and what I'm doing. So there hasn't been a lot of foundations that I really wanted to try simply because I kind of feel like I found all my perfect matches. But I'm always down to try something that um, can possibly be an everyday, especially being um, of deeper tone and looking for something that'll match a little bit better because you know we always have to kind of bronze here and highlight here to kind of get everything to look right for us so that's the thing I put my Smashbox um, primer water on my face and we're gonna go ahead and get started so I guess this side will be my brush side and this side will be my beauty blender I'm actually going to use the wet and wild sponge so great drugstore alternative so I'll take the little squeezy tube kind of like toothpaste and I'll apply a couple squeezes this also claims to be um, full coverage which I'm not already looking at it I'm like mm, I don't know if this will be full coverage but for me I'm not really looking for a full coverage look anyway with this I think it'll be more of an everyday now for those of you guys who don't know my foundation routine when I use a brush this is the Koki 618 brush um, very good dome very nice for foundation I usually spray with a little bit of setting spray this is happens to be my Milani make it last spray just to make it easier to blend the foundation you can use fix plus you can use wet and wild whatever spray you have will work Ugh, it does have a scent to it but it's not bad I just smelled it right off the bat I had to smell my brush um, as you guys can see it's a little yellowy on me um, but in person it's actually not that bad it actually kind of matches my undertone a little bit I think it might just be because I'm on camera that it's looking like that. So it did blend pretty good with this brush. Um, I do like the way it looks. I'm going to see if I can do a quick little zoom on here. I'll do it for you guys in the next clip just so you can see it a little bit closer. Um, I do feel a little bit of tingling here. I don't know if that's from the foundation or... But I did feel a little bit of that. Um... Full coverage, I have dark spots here and a little pigmentation, so it did cover it decently, but I still can see it a little bit picking through. I think one more layer would help with that, but it did dry down very nice, um, so that's that. Um, let's go on the other side, why am I saying um 10 million times, like I've never done a freaking YouTube video before, I don't know. Um, I'm going to do one up here, because I think I should have done one up here on this side. And I'll go back in with the brush, of course. So now we're using the Wet n Wild sponge. Um, going in. And you guys do see that I did try to do my eyes off camera for you just to make the video a little bit quicker. Um, you guys know my I try to do everything according to my normal routine to make this a actual non-biased video. So what I did was... Um, 
I actually went in and did my eyebrows first as usual and then I did my eyes. I went and did my eyes on camera for you guys afterwards but I just wanted to try to keep it where nothing would make a difference in how the foundation would wear. Now you guys know I have my natural hair out right now so I probably should have put a scarf on or my little headband drawn before I started doing this so I don't get foundation all up in the hairline but it's all good. Um, We'll make it work. Um, right off the bat, I think I like, I always like the brush side better because I always apply foundation with sponge. I, with brush. I hardly apply with sponge, but, um, up in this forehead area is looking a little ashy. So, we're going to go in there real quick. Like I said, the darker shade that they had looked way too dark for me. And I know I'm a little bit tan, but I kind of got some of my regular color back. So, I didn't want to, um, go up a shade. I'd rather... Um, do a lighter shade in bronze if I can just because I'm good at that and I know how to do that better than try to lighten it up all right guys so this side is our brush side this side is our sponge side I'm like looking my skin looks good I can say that it has a little bit of a dewiness to it which is said a natural finish so that's expected um I don't know what side I like better yet I guess I'll decide at the end. So, um, like I said, a little bit of scent. Um, applied great, blended great. If you want full coverage, you're going to have to go in with more than one layer. But um, this finish is fine for me. Like, it covered blemishes. I still can see a little bit peeking through on certain sides. Like, I got a little bit of dark spots here. But other than that, um, pretty good. So, I'm going to go ahead and take you guys along to finish the rest of my face. And then we'll talk a little bit at the end of the video. Um, I'll let you guys know what time it is so you guys can determine how well my wear test is. <laughs> look I am back um, I will include details on everything else down in the description box below but right off the bat um as y'all can see excuse my ends um you guys know I am just getting done taking out my crochet gypsy locks so I'm in my middle phase am I gonna get crochet next do I need to straighten my hair I don't know yet but um I took a mirror and I'm just looking at my face right off the bat it does not look bad I still don't know whether I like the brush or the sponge side better um I can see my pores more on the sponge side I definitely will tell you guys that so I most likely will probably use this with a brush and I usually use a brush for this foundation well all foundation period all the time because I just like the way a brush applies beauty blender is mainly for me and my um concealers but uh, occasionally I'll use it you know for foundation just so we can kind of see how things wear um the coverage is I would say medium coverage you do have a natural dewy finish of course I powdered afterwards and everything like that because I am a combo oily girl that will be in my normal routine anyway so um but I still see like a little bit of shininess poking through I can see my forehead and in my cheeks which is usually normal anyway um time update so right now it, it is 
142 or 1342 if you guys can see um so i am going to wear this foundation all day i do have to go out i have to run some errands i'm going to do some house cleaning around the house i am going to film again because i do need to catch up on some videos so i'm going to be doing normal day stuff while wearing this foundation we'll see how long it lasts we'll see what it looks like at the end of the day um so if you guys are interested stay tuned like i said it is 1342 or 142 you guys know i do military time because i'm a nurse so um and you see my do not disturb to make sure people don't call while we're filming so <laughs> stay tuned and i will see you guys later with an update guys when you walk out and do wear tests like as y'all can see i'm casually dressed and you go to the store people will just be looking at you like you crazy like can i not wear makeup or no now i just wanted to point out um the shade range for us more tan darker women um as i told you guys i got 348 the next color was 362 truffle y'all know that is way too dark for me so yeah they need to get it together with the shade range Hey guys, welcome back. I got you guys super up close and personal so we can kind of go ahead and see how my wear test did. So current time on the clock right now is 8.59 or 20.59 if you guys can see it. So um, I went ahead and wore the foundation. I think we started at 13.42. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So about seven, six and a half to seven hours of wear and this is what my face looks like. So I brought you guys closer into me. Um, first, right off the bat, I can definitely say that the foundation is still pretty medium coverage. Um, dark spots are covered. I don't see anything peeking through. Um, one thing that I can say as a con, um, I did notice, I'm actually going to grab the mirror so I can look again. That on this side of the face there is some breakout um i have it on my cheek area and kind of down in different spots below the um cheekbone now this is where we come into play where we got to think about things so i'm not blaming it on the foundation because even though this side has that um, this side does not have those bumps. So what I'm thinking is, I think if I remember correctly, I used the brush on the side of the face and the beauty blender on this side of the face. So my beauty blender is definitely going in the trash. And that's where I've come to the conclusion because it wouldn't make sense for it to only be on one side of the face and not the other if it was a reaction to the foundation. So it's definitely probably from my beauty blender. It might just need to be cleaned. It might just need to be thrown out. But that bad boy's going in the trash regardless. Um... Second thing I did notice is my nose is super oily. Now let me tell you guys, when I wear a foundation, any foundation in the world, um, my nose always ends up super oily like this. Mainly because I don't really concentrate a whole lot of primer in that area. And I think it's just the fact that my pores in my nose are so big and it just stays oily. So I don't think any foundation has conquered this oily nose but the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. Um, I have not powdered in the last 7 hours. I have not done anything like that. And as you guys can see, the face still looks really decent. I mean, my makeup's not melting off besides the nose. And I'll just do like a... You guys can see I got a little bit of um, residue from going over my nose there. But other than that, I put a receipt so you can say still can't say whatever um but other than that this um foundation really held up well it's still comfortable um my face is not cracking so it's not dry it's still a natural feel i did get compliments while i was out so people recognized it um just to give you guys a just a gist of my day um after i finished filming i edited a couple videos I did go out, um, the weather here in New Jersey today was about 75, 80 degrees outside, so I did ride in the car, windows down, no air conditioner, um, went to Walmart, walked around, uh, went to the car wash, so I wasn't doing anything strenuous like going to the gym or anything, but I was out in the weather and, um, like riding with the windows down and no air conditioner on, this looks pretty darn good i mean you guys do see there's a little bit of oil peeking out here and like my forehead as always but like when i do this unlike the nose i don't get um any foundation coming off so i think those are just like the dewy areas um this is a natural finish it does not promise to be matte so 
I think overall I am pretty like impressed especially for it to have SPF in it I think this will definitely be an everyday now if you guys look in the clip earlier in the video I did when I went to Walmart I showed you guys the shade ranges so um not many shades to choose from the shade up from this um going down deep end was way too dark and the one before it was way too light so I think I got right on the money it's not a direct connect to my neck but it's enough where it looks like it's pretty darn natural so we have reached the end of this wear test guys so I give this foundation a thumbs up I will be continuing to use it and I can always keep you guys updated on how it's working for me so far like I said before with the breakout I really honestly think it's a beauty blender because if I were to break out from this product, it would be sparsely over the face and not just in one concentrated area. So, way to go Maybelline again. I am like a Maybelline girl all the way when it comes to drugstore. So, if you guys like what you see here, don't forget to hit subscribe, like, and comment on your way out. If you've tried this foundation before, tell me how you like it down in the comment box. If you have any questions, of course, leave them down in the comment box for me too. Um, it's getting ready to be bedtime. I gotta go to work in the morning so I'm winding down a little early. But usually a 6 to 7 hour wear is typical for me during the day anyway. Um, I was, I did try to wear it out for you guys as long as I can but I'm getting sleepy so it is time to get ready to go to bed and get ready for this 12 hour shift tomorrow. So I will talk to you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching and I'm out. Thank you.